you're watching a Sony Vegas compilation. What's going on guys? My name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday so that means a new video for you guys. In this video I'll be showing you how to fade in and how to fade out on like a piece of footage because if you want to end off like a video or you want to start a video you're gonna just maybe use some fades, so fade in, so fade out. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this real quick. There's like this really simple method like everyone uses so basically with that being said let's jump right into it. So as you can see, I dragged a part of a vlog in. As you can see, it was a vlog from the 24 hour live stream. I took a piece of footage out of the clip and dragged it in. I'm gonna show you guys how to fade in and how to fade out your clip. So basically, let's say you wanna fade in like at the beginning. So if I play it back, there's no fade at all. As you can see, right here it's just gonna start boom immediately so let's say we want to have like a smooth fade in first thing you want to do is you want to drag your clip to whatever position in your timeline then you just want to go to the very beginning of the video just mouse over with your mouse till you see this fade in offset so basically you just want to go to the left upper corner of the clip until you see this little bow with the arrow hold your left mouse and just drag the fade to whatever size you want. And basically, how wider the fade, how, how slower it's gonna fade in. As you can see, if I put it like this, it's gonna like take a little while to fade in. So basically, as you, as you can see right here, it's fading in really slowly, but if you drag it again to like the beginning, it's like immediately. As you can see, it's like, if you wanna like work in detail, you can just scroll up and down to enlarging your uh, preview. Basically, you just wanna hold this and let's say you wanna like have a really slow fade in, you just wanna just drag it and you can see this really wide line. Like you can do it like this, just like a really slow fade in, as you can see right there, almost, almost, and there it is. So as you can see, it just is really slow, like for awesome movies or something. Basically, that's how you fade in. So if you know how to fade in the video, that's the first part. So let's say you wanna end off the video, you know, right here and you just want to have like an awesome fade out. If you want to end off the video like really smooth, you're not gonna like just do this and that's just gone. So basically the next thing what you want to do is just the same as the beginning, just hold your mouse on this and just drag it to the other side. So as you can see right here, it's just gonna start to get in black already. So let's say we want to have like a really slow fade out. Let's say really slow, we can just put it like this. And as you can see, it is just gonna fade out really, really slow. So it's getting darker, it's getting darker, 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 and then finally it is completely dark. So that's basically how you fade in and fade out. You can just mess around with this one. How wider the offset, how slower it's gonna fade out. If you wanna have like a really quick fade out, you can just put it like almost like maybe an inch from the actual ending of the, of the clip. So you can just put it like this, and then it's gonna just end off really quick. So basically, that's how simple it is, guys. If you like this video and you want to see more of these Sony Vegas tutorials every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CET, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out any new updates or, you know, Akinator videos or Sony Vegas reviews, all that kind of stuff. If you find this video helpful, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. And like I said, feel free to subscribe for more content. If you, you get the picture, it's, it's totally up to you. So basically, I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex. Awesome that you're watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create this awesome epic, you know, film look. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys a few things you need to apply so you get like this really awesome cinematic, you know, look of your video. So with that being said, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have my stock footage, um, you know, from YouTube just drawn into the timeline, as you can see, just like really some awesome close-ups and all that kind of stuff. So basically we want to just transform this, you know, just a very standard clip to like really awesome, you know, uh, film effect kind of look. So basically the first thing we're going to do is you're going to type in cinematic black bars in Google Images. Then you want to save the PNG version so you have only just two black bars. So once you have saved that, you just want to drag that in real quick. So you just want to drag your black bars on top of the actual video track you already have you, and you want to stretch this for, to the whole video track. As you can see, there are already like some really black awesome bars that already creates like a little film look. As you play it back, it's, it's, it looks like this, so it looks really awesome, you know, it, lo it looks like a, like an awesome movie and stuff. So the next thing you want to do is you want to just want to spice up the, you know, the, the, you know, the footage with some color correction. So the first thing you want to do is go to color corrector, apply it to your video track underneath the black bars. You want to use red midtones. As you can see, it's already creating like this awesome look it looks almost like a real movie as you can see you know to only with like the blank bars and the color correction um so basically you know, the last thing you want to apply to like make this complete is you're going to go to the left and you want to pick film effects you drag that onto the track of your actual you know footage and you just want to you know drag it with this little marker and that says 
tint. Then you just want to mess around until you're happy with it. So let's mess around a little bit more with the tint. This is too much as you can see. So basically you just want to like drag it a little bit to the left just until you're happy with it. So I'm going to pick, this is like zero and I'm going to pick like this. So like that's 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 great. So basically, let's play it back right now. And as you can see, it looks so professional with like the black bars and you know the color correction and the film effects. And as you can see, it just and it looks really awesome, you know, just by some, applying some simple effects to like some really you know cat usual and casual you know footage. It's, it spices up the video so much more. As you can see, you know, it's just it's really epic effects, and that's basically what I use if I want to create like short movies and all kind of stuff. So basically, that's it for this video, guys. That's just, that's how simple it is. If you want to see more of this sort of Vegas tutorial, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciate it. And if you want to see more of these videos, feel free to subscribe down below so you won't miss out on any new content and all that kind of stuff. So basically, I'll see you guys next Wednesday for a new Sony Vegas tutorial at 1pm PST and 10pm CET. So thank you guys for watching. Until then, I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Alex and welcome to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add music and sound effects to your video. So basically, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have two outros of mine. I'm going to show you guys how to put music underneath it and how to add some sound effects. So basically, this is my outro. So let's put some music underneath it. So we're gonna drag our music in right here. So as you can see right now, I have dragged my music into the timeline. So basically, let's see how it looks. So that's looking pretty good. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a transition with like a sound effect. So we have our music right here. And we wanna have our transition right here. And as you can see, in the transition we have like a we have one like a like a nice whoosh sound effect so we're gonna drag that sound effect in so as you can hear this is the whoosh sound effect so we're gonna put that underneath the transition so we're gonna drag it all the way to the beginning about right here or something now we're gonna just match it with the transition so let's see how it looks looks pretty good maybe a little bit faster That looks actually pretty good. So that's how you drag in sound effects and music into your timeline of your video. So you can just mess around with different sound effects and different music. As you can see, it's looking, it's, it's looking pretty good. So basically, that's it for this video, guys. If you want to see more of this sort of a tutorial, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. It's always appreciated. So if you want to see more of this sort of a tutorial, feel free to subscribe down below so you won't miss out on any new updates. So, so I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next week. What is going on, guys? My name is Alex, and also that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial. It's Wednesday, so that means a new video for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys three simple ways to import your clips, to import your media into Sony Vegas. It's going to be a like, really short tutorial. It's not that difficult at all, so it's going to take like maybe like a minute, two minutes to show you guys the three ways you can import media into your timeline or in Vegas. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have nothing right here in my space, as you can see in the timeline. Okay, so the first way to do it is just, um, I have this map open on my second monitor so you guys won't be able to see it because you're only seeing you know this monitor so basically the first thing you want to do is open your folder and just hold your mouse on the actual file and just drag it into Sony Vegas and just release the mouse button and there you go there's your footage so this is like a really short intro of mine you know from like uh, my, my shirts and my merchandise as you can see right there. So that's like the first way you can just drag in your footage by just going to the folder, hold your mouse button on the footage and just drag it into Vegas and then release the button and there you go. So that's the first way and the most easiest way and the way I use it too. So let's delete this real quick. So basically let's move on to the next way. The second way you can import media into your Sony Vegas is firstly you want to go to file, import, media. And this is the point where you want to look up where your media is at. So basically let's go to my computer, my C drive, users, it's in Dutch but it's users or intro branding and just double click on your clip you want to import so there you go so as you can see we have the footage on the left and you're thinking like hey where is the footage in the timeline just drag it to the timeline boom there we go this is the second way of how to import media okay so the third and the last way to import your media into Vegas I'm gonna put the folder right here as you can see so basically the first thing you want to do is you go before you first of all you just want to close Vegas and then you just want to right click on the piece of footage you want to import open with and then and pick in the list Vegas Pro. Now it's gonna open a new copy of Vegas. So basically I'm just gonna close the previous one. 
So this one, I'm gonna close this one. I'm not gonna save it. And as you can see, I opened up with Vegas and the clip is already in your timeline, completely ready to be edited. So basically that's it for this video, guys. If you wanna see more of these videos, feel free to leave a thumbs up down below. If you find this video helpful, you can subscribe down below so you won't miss out any new, you know, Vegas tutorials on how to do this and how to do that in Sony Vegas. So basically, thank you guys for watching. Every Wednesday at 1 p.m. PST and 10 p.m. CET on my channel, you can expect the Sony Vegas tutorial. If you're subscribed to my channel on your homepage or just go to the settings and just click when like notify me through email anytime I upload a new video so you can just check your mail and then you can see anytime I upload a new video so basically I want to thank you guys very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next week on Wednesday for a new tutorial so until then I'll see you guys soon what is happening guys my name is Alex and awesome that you guys are watching to a new Sony Vegas tutorial it's Wednesday so I'm using a new video for you guys and today I'm going to show you guys how to take a uh, snapshot so you don't have to like um like press you know print screen and go to paint and crop it and save it like that you can just go to a part of the video that you want like the screenshot of basically like right here and there's one really simple way to make a snapshot the only thing you need to do is go above your preview screen you have this little you know like save icon and it says save snapshot to file so let's say we want a snapshot of this particular scene we're gonna click on the little icon we're gonna save it on desktop we give it a little name let's go for an example and say test and then you're gonna just go to your desktop, click on tests, and as you can see, we have the screenshot. So that's basically all there is to do. The previous one, I didn't knew this. I'm just, you know, gonna wanna make a thumbnail. Let's say I'm just gonna drag it like this. Then I press print screen, and I open paint, you know, all the, you know, and then I just paste it and just, I crop it like this, and just save it like this, and there's a thumbnail. So that's over, so you just close paint, do not save it, and just click this little icon which says save snapshot to file. That's how simple it is, guys. If you wanna see more of these sort of it's all feel free to leave a thumbs up down below it's always appreciated and if you find this video helpful and you don't want to miss out on any new episodes feel free to subscribe down below so you won't miss out on any new updates like i said before so that's basically all there is to do so I'll thank you guys very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next week so that is it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below and also subscribe button at the bottom so thank you for the continued support if you want to see more content make sure to click right here that's it for today thank you guys and i'll see you guys tomorrow